Let's see what Mr. Profit Man has to say this time. Overin, I'm coming. The companions assemble once more. Travel to the harborage. It is time for our final preparations. Final preparations. Okay, so we're definitely getting very close to the end. Definitely getting close to the end. This should be interesting to say the least. You know, really quick while I'm here, I might as well train. Before I forget. Oh, wait, is this? Yes, it is a stable master. If you want a horse, then we have some. I don't need a horse, but I do want to train. Good old 8%. Or eight, period. I think 60's max. If I'm not mistaken. Correct me down in the comment section if I'm wrong. I think 60's max. For each. Varen, Mr. Profit Man. I'm here. Hey! What are you doing over here, Cadwell? She's playing him a song. She's talented. Welcome back, Vestige. News of Manamarco's demise spreads far and wide. Like worms, his followers burrowed deep into the earth to escape the searing light of the coming dawn. Uh, so why did you summon me, Varen? As ever, straight to the point. <coughs> You've done the impossible. The King of Worms has been consumed by the wrath of Molog Baal. The power of his worm cult is broken forever. But Molag Baal is still a threat. And I haven't found my soul. Kind of sort of need that. That is the grim truth of the matter. But the Amulet of Kings is in our possession. And there is still much to do. How can we be sure that Menomarco's truly gone, though? In my sleep, I hear his tormented screams. And Molog Baal forces visions of his eternal torture into my mind. I can show you exactly what I see, if you wish it. I do want to see. Show me these visions. Let's see how tortured Menomarco is. Please, no more. It was a misunderstanding, great one. Let me serve you. Let me prove my loyalty. No more, I beg of you. Menomarco's <laughs> torment will be endless. The god of schemes will use him to set an example. All who follow him will know you cannot hope to betray the greatest of betrayers. I cannot help but pity him, despite all he has done. But this is not why you were called here, Vestige. Come, Sai Sahan will speak with you first. So I guess I gotta talk to Sai Sahan. That's, that's it? All that for that tiny little vision? Sai, I heard you wanted to talk to me. The greatest of the sword saints, Divon, tells us that destiny is a chain, forged one link at a time. Our chain is nearly complete. There is but one link remaining. What is this link in which you speak of? Of it which you speak you, of? You, my friend. You are the Me. link. Me. I will not bore you with effusive praise, but state it plainly. You are a great warrior and a trusted friend. And we would like to extend you an offer. An offer I can't refuse, you say. Also, I'm Link. I wonder if I'm ever going to meet Zelda. What offer? When Emperor Varen first brought the five companions together, he did so in the hope of creating a Tamriel where all men could live freely and safely beneath one banner. Uh-huh. The five companions failed, betrayed from within by one of our own. The Worm King, Menomarco. All that came after was the result of one man's treachery. Now four of the five are reunited to right that great wrong. But destiny requires a fifth. So that's me. 
What are you suggesting? We want you to join us as our fifth member. Obviously. You were the champion we should have had with us back then. Uh, I mean, Don't look so great. obviously. This is largely symbolic, but please, humor an old soldier. <sighs> I'm honored to join you as the last member of the Five Companions. So, Sai is the leader. My lord, with your permission, you needn't call me that anymore, Sai Sahan. We are equals now. All those years ago, when we fought beneath our lord's banner to free the Empire from the Longhouse Emperors, we did so with a dream of freedom and peace in mind. Not just for the Empire, but for all of Tamriel. Together, we forged a fellowship stronger than any blade, only to see it shattered upon the rocks of deceit by one of our own. That fellowship is no more. But we four have assembled here, united by a single purpose. It is not vengeance that drives us, but truth and loyalty and justice. I, Sai Sahan, steward of the Abbey of Blades, call for the five companions to be reforged this day by the light of Stendar and the heart of Lorcan. May our blade of fellowship be forged anew. May the vestige, our mutual friend and ally, become its tip. And we may thrust it straight into the heart of a Daedric prince. Sai Sahan is right. You are the member that we should have had all those years ago. It is as the strolls foretold. The soulless one will become the brightest of five stars. And they shall guide us to the coming dawn. Oh, please, <laughs> you melodramatic sots. Fine, fine. If seeing one of your foolish prophecies come true will help to <coughs> ensure the safety of the Empire, I'll play along. Stand united once more. The five companions are reforged, and together we will strike down the God of Schemes. Come here, my friend. I've got a few things I want to say before you go. Okay. What's up, Lyris? <coughs> it's been a long road, hasn't it? My father used to say that if you avoid all of life's abrasions, you'll never be polished enough to shine. <laughs> It must be pretty damn shiny by now. Um, he was a wise man, your father. I've been thinking about our adventures and the hardships we've faced together. We're in the last leg of this journey, aren't we? I don't regret any of it, but it occurs to me that we haven't had much of a chance to talk as friends. Uh, we might not get another chance if I'm being completely honest here, but what do you want to talk about? Where do you see yourself going after all of this is over? I mean, Canada? Assuming we survive, get your soul back, and stop Molag Ball. Uh, there's a war to win. I intend to take up the fight in Cyrodiil. Uh, no, because that's PvP. That's like... We'll do this one day in the future, I promise. Because I do want to become Emperor at some point. Uh, that would be pretty interesting, I think. Uh, there's a whole world to explore. Uh, I want to see what's out there. Yeah. There's a whole world to explore, Lyris. I want to see what's out there. Traveling is a humbling experience. You see firsthand what a small place you occupy in the world. Funny thing is, the farther you go, the harder it is to return. But when you do, if you do, you get to see the place you came from with new eyes. What about you? Me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to Skyrim and settle down. Squeeze out a few whelps. Maybe raise sheep or grow cabbages. Are you serious? What? No. Can you imagine it? Lyra's Titanborn. Shepherd. Farmer. Housewife. I need to be out in the wind and wild. And if I ever find my life mate, he'll feel the same way. My turn. What's your one regret about all we've been through? I think I've I think I know who your life mate is, Lyris. Standing right behind me. But don't worry. I can keep a secret. Uh The missed opportunities to seize power. <laughs> um The deaths of so many people, that's not really my fault now, is it? I guess because of these uh these Answers, I'm going to say I have no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> you're a hard heart, eh? No regrets, no tears, no doubts. Don't look back unless you're planning to head in that direction. 
Yeah? That's exactly the kind of person we need right now. What about you then? <laughs> Lots of things. <laughs> Friends lost. Missed opportunities. Failed endeavors. Maybe the best we can hope for is to end up with the right regrets. I do regret not taking the time to get to know the people I fought with. I hope to change that. I mean, that's technically what we're doing now, right? What else is on your mind? One last thing. You like mead? Yeah, sure, of course. I knew I liked you. So, let's toast. To Molag Ball, that ugly skeever. May his privates be infected with brown rot fever. <laughs> true and our hearts be brave. As we march into Cold Harbor to spit on his grave. Hey, here, here, I'll drink to that one. <laughs> that was funny. Let's not forget the struggles that got us to this point. We're almost home. We just have a bit further to fight. Are you all insane? Yes. You do realize what we need to do, right? We have to fight a Daedric Prince. Amulet or no, this is going to mean more death. Vestige, come here. I'll tell you what they're afraid to mention. That's something I do like about Abner Tharn. He's, he may be an ass, but he's very straight up with his points, you know? Getting all chummy with Titanborn? I enjoy the company of clever, well-informed people. You really should try it sometime. So, you felled the great Manny Marco. Well played. You've done the Empire a great service. I mean, that's not why I did it, though. The farmer doesn't thank the cow when it voids itself on the field, but it still makes the crops grow taller. Touche. Touche. Is that your way of thinking of, of thanking me? I suppose it is. But that wasn't the reason for this heartwarming reunion. <laughs> Varen and I have spoken at length since you recovered the amulet and have determined our final course of action. Molag Baal remains a threat, and Tamriel is still in grave danger. So then what do you have in mind? First, the plane meld must be stopped. Even now, forces gather and plan an assault on Oblivion itself. You must join them. Wait, forces gather and plan an assault on Oblivion itself? What? That's crazy. What then? Then, and only then. Can you take the fight to Molag Baal himself to restore protection to Nern and reclaim your soul? Is that even po is it even possible to defeat Molag Baal? I know more about the Daedra than any man or Mur alive. For good or ill, my family has always kept ties with the forces of Oblivion, and this much I know: one cannot kill a Daedric prince. But we have the Amulet of Kings. What does that even What does that even mean? Go on. With the amulet in our possession, we may be able to wound him severely, and in the process, force him to relinquish every last soul he has stolen, including your own. This is where your condition works to your benefit. Uh, how? The ritual we performed with the amulet of kings caused the soul burst and damaged the veil between worlds. If the damage is to be repaired, I must attempt the ritual again, this time with you. Won't that just cause another soul burst? Only if we use it here on Nern. But if we were to travel to Cold Harbor, we might be able to harness its power, imbue you with divine agency enough to challenge the Daedric Prince. But there is a price. Of course there is. There always is a price. What is it? Calling upon the power of the amulet in this manner will consume someone's soul utterly. One cannot channel the power of the gods without paying such a price. Unfortunately, you don't have a soul to consume, and I am needed to perform the ritual. So someone has to die? More specifically, one of our three companions. I suspect that's why they're so nauseatingly overappreciative and fawning. Oh, that price is way too high. Of course it is. The fact of the matter stands, however. One of the five will need to give their life to fuel this attack when the time comes. So you said before the vestige arrived. And I've already thought it over. I'll do it. Snow Lily, no. You should not need to give your life this way. This is my duty. 
penance for my numerous failures. This is my chance to make things right. The scroll said nothing of this moment, and so I am not bound to their dictates. Vestige, I ask that you let me do this one thing. All that has happened was because of my hubris. I shall be the one. Sire, you've done enough. This was Manny Marco's doing, not yours. As the one who will fight the Daedric Prince, the Vestige should decide. I don't see you leaping to volunteer, Thorn. <laughs> Saving your own backside again. Hard as it may be, Lyris, don't be an idiot. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows the ritual, and we don't have time to teach anyone else. That's enough. It won't be decided here and now. Vestige, come here. Like, he's a... He's an ass. He's a straight-up ass, but... He technically hasn't said much that I disagree with. Maybe a, a a couple things here and there, but for the most part, I mean, he's not wrong, you know? It appears we have come full circle, Vestige. Does uh, one of you truly have to die? That millions of others may live, yes. Do not be troubled. Any one of us <laughs> would gladly make such a sacrifice. Can we just give them Bastion? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Bastion. You didn't hear that. Uh, but first, the the that the plane meld must be stopped. As Thawne has said, there are already plans in motion to infiltrate Cold Harbor. You must be part of them. The chains that anchor us to oblivion draw us ever closer. They must be severed once and for all. I'll find a way. When the plane meld has been thwarted and the dust has settled, the five companions will gather one last time to face our destinies. The god of schemes must be stopped, Vestige. That is the only thing that matters now. The band of the companions. These rewards... I wish they were part of a set. Because these are not very... I guess enticing. Like, what's the point of this? Just gives you a little bit of health? Like, if it was a part of a set, at least you could put it all together, you know? You know what I need to do? I need to go turn in my quest for the Undaunted. You know what? I'm just gonna fast travel there. Even though uh, it's going to progress the story, but it's okay. Because the prophet's going to show up. Ah, good. I found you. Speak with me a moment, if you would. Do I want to talk to him? I think this is a part of the main story. I'll be back. Stay there. I want to turn in this quest. Fine. Be about your business. I shall be in Wayrest waiting for you. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, let's talk to Moira real quick or whatever her name is. Well, there's a lot of people in here today. Hey, you. Uh, did you sing that for everyone? Every new member. Sort of a rite of passage. You survived our song. Hopefully you'll survive the beasts and the bastards waiting in the deeps. To kill you. Okay, thank you. That's it. Welcome to the Undaunted. Now go make old Mordra proud. What should I do now? You fear no creature, living or dead. Find the fiercest, wildest, most dangerous monsters in Tamriel and face them down. Show them the meaning of Undaunted. What do I get for being one of the Undaunted, though? You mean besides fame, glory, and the right to brag about any and everything you do? Yeah, besides that. If the Undaunted know anything, we know how to fight. Stick around and you might learn some new skills. Then... Armory. We hold some of the finest weapons and armor in all of Tavriel. Not free, 
but only undaunted have access. Uh, what should I do now? What we all do. Prove you fear no creature. Okay, yeah, bye. So I guess we gotta go to Wayrest now. Uh, luckily, have I discovered Wayrest? Yes, I have. It Yes, I have. Very nice. So let's head out to Wayrest. Luckily, we can just fast travel straight there. It just makes everything so much easier. Okay. Talk to Vanus Galarian. That's a pretty cool name, actually. I actually really like that name. Alright, where is this guy at? He's right there. I want to kind of look at him. He looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's talk to him. Actually, do I have any other? Because we're like so close to the end of the story. Let me see. Because I think this is possibly what takes me to Cold Harbor. Uh, Vanus Galarian of the Mages Guild has a plan to stop Molag Ball's incursion of Tamrael. It requires convincing uh, the three alliances to join forces with the Mages Guild and Fighters Guild to assault Cold ha uh, Harbor. Vanus Galarian has appeared to me and urgently requests to speak with him. Uh, uh, me to speak with me. I should see what he has to say. All right. Well, I don't really have much of a choice, so let's go ahead and just talk to him and. I guess progress with the story because I think we're literally at the end. So yeah, let's let's do this.